Hey guys, I'm Alex from Zaxverse, here to show you how to make shadows inside of 3D Invigorator Pro. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. You can download the resource files in a link below this video to follow along. So, right now I have some words that are just sitting on a floor. You know, it looks good, but it doesn't look realistic enough. I want to add some shadows to get that realistic look. So let's go ahead and jump into our setup window by clicking on this button right here. And we have our Invigorator setup window. Um, so right now I'm going to go ahead to our bottom right here, this lightning, lighting workspace, and uh, come up here and click on the lighting rig. So notice the first thing we need to do is create a light. However, if I come in here to light set uh, and create one light, notice how the entire lighting of our scene has now changed. But I like the default lighting. I want to keep the default lighting. I just want to add a shadow into that default lighting. So what I can do is instead I can make sure that this light set once selected, go over here to our lighting rigs and drag our default lighting onto the scene. And now when I click on replace, Notice that right here, the, when I turn the lights on or off, the lighting looks exactly the same, except now I have the lights to manipulate. So I can click on light one right here. This is a light that is lighting the front of our scene. And I can come over here to our object controls, and I can turn on shadow casting. And just like that, if I move around here, we can see that shadow casting is turned on. Um, it's awesome. We get shadows immediately. And they look pretty dang good. We're going to do a little adjustment with it. Um, however, if you are not seeing the shadows, don't worry. Come over here to our help menu. Uh, come over to preferences. And you see this little checkbox right here that says show shadows in draft mode. If this is off, notice that in draft mode I won't see it. But when I hit render test, I will see it. This is turned off by default just for speed capabilities okay if your computer is too slow it's going to start to slow things down having shadows so we wanted to turn it off by default but you can always turn it right back on so come right here to back to preferences turn on our show shadows and remember if uh, things are getting a little slow with shadows turn on if your scene is too big too much is going on then go ahead and turn that off for draft mode but keep the final mode on so that it will come up when you hit render test um, or render out your scene so here we go. So we have our shadows in our scene. Uh, let's get a better side angle right here. Uh, we can take our darkness. This is the first setting. We can take our darkness, have so uh, light shadows or dark shadows. Pretty simple. We're going to keep it right in between. And then we have a softness. This is, this is the edge of the shadow. And so when I take a very slow softness, notice how that's a very hard edge. And if I increase the shadow softness, we get a very soft edge. So maybe something more like a cartoon look for no edge or for a, a sharp edge. And maybe more realistic look when you have... Um, a softer edge. Um, also, this nine rays right here, what this is, this is for ray trace renderer only. And so if I set something like 16 rays, notice we're not seeing any difference in here. However, if I come up here to my output, change my renderer over to ray tracer, and click on render test, we're going to get some nicer looking shadows out throughout our scene the, high, the, amount, the higher amount of rays we go to. However, keep in mind, just like everything else, the higher number you go to, the slower the rendering is going to take. The same goes for shadow softness. The higher softness you go to, you can even type in something like 30 or something like that. Um, you're going to get some really soft looking shadows. However, the, the rendering is going to take longer. So just keep that in mind. If you need that look, great. It's there for you. If not, stay away from it. Um, so there we go. Let's go ahead. We'll just... Uh, slide this guy back down um, and let's zoom in zoom into our shadows right here and so right here we notice our shadows look really good I'm gonna go over here to our material workspace select the floor and delete the material so we can get a better look at what the actual shadow is looking like and so notice we see some lines going through here you know it looks a little pixelated somewhat go back over to our lighting workspace um, and we can fix that super quickly so notice right here I have 1500 if we go to something like 500 it's gonna look even more pixelated and so you know if you're zoomed out you might not even notice the difference especially if you have a material on there just like we did you might not even know the difference um, so if you want, if, if you can, get away with having something like 500, go ahead and do it, because it's going to render way faster. However, if you're like zoomed up on your object right here, and you want to see every bit of shadow, that's fine. Go ahead, take your shadow map size, and increase it to 4,000. Remember, this is for OpenGL only, and notice we get this really nice, smooth shadow. And so we are going to slow ourselves down a little bit. So I recommend only doing, you know, increasing your shadow map size for the final render or so. But if you do need this, it's definitely there for you, and it looks really good, um, and you know it's still fairly fast. 
Um, yeah, it looks good, right? Okay, let's go ahead. We'll click OK. Actually, let me get a more a better view to jump out of here. I'll change my shadow map size back down to 1500. That's what I like to work with. Uh, I'll go ahead, click OK, and notice everything updates back in our After Effects scene, just like Invigorator should, right? Okay, awesome. Now, let's go ahead and jump over to our second project, Shadow Project 2. So notice we have some words right here and a back wall. They both have textures on them, pretty simple, and it looks pretty good. It's going to look a whole lot better with some shadows. So let's go ahead and click on the Setup window, open up our Setup window. Uh, jump over to our lighting workspace and just like before go to our lighting rigs and drag our default lighting rig onto the scene notice however do this on purpose uh, that you can't you have to make sure you have a light set selected that's pretty simple make sure you have a light set one selected drag it onto the scene click on replace and boom we got it however this time instead of actually adding the shadows onto light one we're gonna do it onto a whole nother light set and I'll show you the reason for this create a new light set Create lights at one, turn the lights to number one, and now we have very bleached out look. We don't like that. I didn't go for that. Click on light four right here, come over here to our object controls, and turn off this cast light option. When I turn that off, notice this light is not doing anything in my scene right now. However, if I turn on shadow casting itself, boom, now I have a light that doesn't cast any light, but it casts shadows. It's really cool, and this is a great thing to do. If you have all your lights set up, and you don't want to mess with your lights, but you want to add a cool shadow to your scene, this is the perfect way to do it. So notice when I turn this guy on and off, the lighting doesn't get messed up, but we do now have shadows. And so I can come down here to our info twirly, twirl that guy open, and then mess with the rotation. And notice how we, we can make it longer, to make it longer, maybe pull it to the right side or something, get that cool long shadow look. You know, it's pretty popular right now. Look at that guy. That's cool, right? We can take our darkness, we can pull that back a little bit. We can take our softness and pull that back a little bit, get some soft, some hard shadows here. And just like that, we have a really cool looking scene that is, uh, you know, without much too much work at all, right? Isn't that cool? There you go. Okay, click on render test, see how that looks. Looking awesome. Okay, so just like that, we have shadows in our scene without much work. Now you know everything you need to know about shadows. All right, that's it for the shadow tutorial. If you have any other questions, you can email us directly or leave a comment below this video. I'm Alex, and I'll see you next time.